Is it recording? Alright. I'm only gonna make this video once. Listen. I have quite the fucking history and experience to back up what I'm talking about. And I know for a fact when you're being surveilled or you're being followed, you know, um, you're walking throughout the city and you don't really have any set pattern, routine, or structure, or, you know, or pattern. And you walk up, or, you know, you're walking around, you go to certain locations, and the same people show up. You know, the same phases and shit like that. Oh, uh, well, this person has a drug history, so we automatically have to label him as delusional. And he's, like, like automatically right off the bat, he's, you know, we not credible because he has a drug history so therefore anything that he has to say is a delusion in his fucking head right well listen you can go fuck yourself right up the fucking ass because listen i have the type of experience where i know the difference between a paranoid schizophrenic psychosis delusion in my head and being fucking paranoid because you're actually being followed Right? I think you've, uh. I think you're missing the point, okay? Because listen. If you take a substance, whether it be synthetic or a fucking plant, you do know it eventually wears off, right? It doesn't permanently, you know. You know? It's not what you think it is. And. If you've never experienced it before, shut your fucking mouth. If I have to hear another motherfucker come up to me and tell me about a fucking experience they've never had just based on something they've observed, I'm gonna fucking bitch slap their fucking face right off. Because listen, I'm so tired of this shit. Yeah, you can observe like a bunch of people fucking high on drugs and shit like that, right? Oh, look, see, see, that's what it does. Yeah, and you're like focusing on the worst case scenario, you know, like, like not even like taking into account that there's people that are fucking rich and really well off that fucking use drugs and shit we never talk about that no but no we want to focus on the person who's down on their luck you don't even know what the fuck that person's been through to be in the fucking circumstance in the situation that they're in but you're gonna sit there and be like oh see uh, look at me i got a car i got a job i got all this stuff right fuck you you're a fucking piece of shit you don't even know what it's like to fucking struggle. You probably had a fucking silver spoon fucking right up your ass. Right from the fucking get-go. And you're gonna sit there and fucking judge me. And act like I don't fucking know the difference between that fucking dare. Fucking paranoid delusion in my head. Because listen. If I'm seeing something. I'm observing something. I'm gonna fucking damn well make fucking for sure that I'm not having a delusion in my head. I want evidence of it while I'm sober. You know? I'm not just gonna be all you know incoherent and be like you know, and that's another thing that people don't understand about meth. It doesn't do that to you, unless you sit up for a certain point. You know, you don't eat, you don't sleep. But not even even then. If you stayed up for three days and you fucking take a dose of meth, unless you're a fucking idiot and you already already have mental fucking problems and your lack of education, lack of experience, just oh, look, 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 fuck you. And fuck the war on drugs. Especially as I, you know, I walk down the fucking, you know, like fucking Terrence McKenna already said it. You know? Like, you got a fucking bard who can articulate it, like, fucking, like, way better than I can. Because I go off on a lot of fucking tangents, but listen, I'm not a fucking idiot. And I know the fucking difference. You would never be able to fucking survive. It's just psychologically, this shit that I go through. Do you know what gang stalking is? Oh, it, it's people trying to gain attention. Look at me. Dude, it's neighborhood watch surveillance, right? The majority of it is just making sure, you know, making sure everybody's fucking staying in line. We're helping the community. That's the main reason. But there are people in positions of power that are abusing it. And we are going through psychological torture. Look up the technology. 
Like, I'm not a fucking idiot, you know? You know when you're being serious. Like, how can you walk uh, throw to city without any, like, real plan? You're just, you know, like, you're just, oh, I'll go this way, I'll go this way. And you go that like, unless there is an organized fucking uh, surveillance program going on, and, and not only that, you gotta think about it from a spiritual aspect, right? Like, what if it's, like, a demon that's, like, jumping into, like, I mean, like, I'm not saying this is what's happening. I'm just saying it's, like, you gotta be able to be open to possibilities that be, like, oh, oh logic, oh, logic. If it doesn't logically make sense, then it's not real. Okay. Listen. I'm not denying that, you know, like, you, listen, you need logic. <laughs> but I've been through way too much to fucking sit here and be fucking call you know no listen I'm gonna call you out on your fucking shit and I know you motherfuckers are scared because you guys can't even look me in the eyes you show up at all the locations I, you know it doesn't matter like I had nothing planned out today I just randomly went to fucking right yeah there's two things that I had planned and they were gonna get done regardless if I've been up for three days or not Right? So fuck you. Fuck you. Don't ever fucking come at me like that again because it's pretty funny too because call, call the cops. I fucking want you to call the cops. I want you to call the authorities and I want you to call the doctors because as soon as the doctor starts talking to me, he's going to be like, this person is a... Uh, uh, completely coherent, uh, he, his sentences are making sense, and, um, you know, he's not, and then a lot of the time I actually educate fucking that, like, everybody that works at Bridges, which is the homeless shelter, don't even know what the fuck a piezo pipe is, or an oil burner, I walk in there, and, uh, so, we got a bunch of fucking people running this fucking institution, and they don't even know what the fucking people are going through, Right? Don't get me wrong, like, I'm not saying it isn't bad, like, that drugs can be bad, but, listen. It's stupid, because you can sit there, you wake up, drink a coffee, uh, smoke a cigarette, or, you know, like, and you don't even realize that you have an addiction. It just doesn't come in the form of a fucking drug. It, it just comes in the form of a, of a stream, which you scroll, everybody has addictions. You know what some people's addictions are? Is focusing on, focusing on other people that they don't even fucking know on the internet. And harassing them and be like, oh, this, oh, that. Oh, you don't even fucking know me. I've never talked to you. I don't fucking know you. <laughs> but you have the fucking goal to sit there and fucking judge me, right? You know what I think it is too is they they don't really expect somebody that uh, that uses substances to you know be more. I think what it is is it's it's like oh, eh, stigma, just stupidity, ignorance, and the fact that I can sit there and school you and make you look like a fool and a fucking retard and an ignorant fuck pisses you off. Because you didn't have to go through the fucking struggle. You just make assumptions about people. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave it at this, you know. I'm fucking done with you fucking idiots, okay? Do you know how many fucking times this month people tried to set me up? And it's really funny too because it's so perfect to set somebody up. You know, right? Like, uh, like, say if you're really close to them, right? Oh, well, this person they use substances, right? Oh, we can, we can get them. Such an easy target. But then, like, you've already been out for fucking three days, and there's like groups of people fucking trying to set you up. Like, you know, like the one girl, she's like, "I'll suck your dick," and I was like, <laughs> she's like trying to get me to look in her eyes and like focus on her. I'm, I'm like looking her. I'm like, oh yeah. So what? You can fucking distract me when somebody comes up behind. Like. Not a fucking idiot, man. What you think, women? Like, come on, women. They weaponize that pussy, man. Trust me, you fucking, you fucking simps and shit like that. Fucking learn some fucking. 
Take care. Fuck. I'm just done.